Howdy folks, what's going on? It's Nintendo Capri Sound here, and we're about to play Crystallis. Crystallis? I'm not sure what the technical pronunciation is here. Oh man, I'm trying to predict the future already. Savage war engulfs the world. Civilization is destroyed. Life would never be the same. Well, indeed. Let's try to read the right tower in the sky. Okay. So far, so good. To oppress evil forever. Man. Don't you miss the days when the stories were so simple? It's just like, here we go. The, the world is done. People will learn from their mistakes. Now they've been dominated by mutated creatures. And it said 1997? Well, it's good to know that didn't actually happen in 1997. People worked together to rebuild their villages and their lives, but they still lived in fear. As they feared the rebirth of evil, they remembered the construction of the tower, and of its consequences once activation had begun. Oh, getting some Willow vibes here. This is good! Oh, jeez. So straight from Willow to Metal Gear here. Condition green. Input code name. Oh, boy. Okay. I assume that's my name. Life Force. EX, I assume that's experience, level one. We have money. Okay, okay. Oh man. Okay, I walk fast. I have purple hair. Purple pants to match. D hey, there's a guy coming out of the cave! Yeah, excuse me, sir. Wait, did I warp? Did I warp here? Oh man. Oh no, no, no. This is the village of Leaf. Great dangers outside of town, please be careful. I can walk diagonally, this is good. Oh, it's you! Sorry I ran from you when we first met. Zebu says he's having a hard time with the windmill guard, he's always sleeping. Oh my, did you visit the elder's house yet? No, I didn't. Which one would that be? There's the inn, there's the church. Wind here's always cold, but we're used to it. Item shop, I presume. Is this a well? Well, I assume I can't really buy anything, so I'm so... It's an interesting scrolling mechanic. You kind of... Hmm. There's an old windmill to the north, but I've never seen it working. Well, baby, let me just play some song of stores for you. I'm the village elder. I sure did. We were told you would arrive. You are our last hope to defeat evil. Receive the sword to protect you on your quest. Nice. Alright, alright. Very Zelda. I like it. Oops. Wait, what did you say? Well, you said something different. If you ever need to wake anyone up, use the alarm flute. It never fails. What, do people have, like, multiple lines of dialogue here? That one in particular did. Well, let's see. You have finally awoken. This money is from the wise man Zebu. It's yours. Yes! I got a hundred dollars. <laughs> Why am I laughing at that? I don't know. But now maybe that means I'd go buy something? Some armor or something? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, medical herb 30. And hope 40. Warp Boots, 60. Alarm Flute, 50. Hmm. I guess just go with the standard for now. Well, we can buy two things. I guess I'll get the Alarm Flute since they told me. But who knows, I might need it. Please come again. Thank you, come again. 
I'm assuming those are like one time use though. If I have to use it again, I'd have to go get another one. If you go to the west, you find Zebu in a cave. Oh boy. Alright, how do I use the sword? Whoops, no, 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 no. Oh, here we go. Sword of Wind. Now using Sword of Wind, okay. So it's select to change your armor. Ooh. Okay, so there is a tiny bit of a delay, but it's not too bad. Woo! Alright, okay, cool, cool. Alright, I can handle Zelda 1, I can probably handle this. Whoa! I mean, again, it's like swing while you're walking. Ooh. It's kind of like ease. That's right. Okay, whoa, we gotta be careful. Ooh, boy! That was good. Kill two with one swing there. Still only one experience, but they're dropping money, too. I wonder how grindy this is. Um, this is cool, though. Um, can I hold the button? Oh, I can charge! Oh! Oh, I can move while charging. Interesting. There's a cave there. I can walk through the woods. That's pretty handy. I think I'll be using that a lot. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. It's like being a kid all over again. I can't believe this. This ain't nothing like that screenshot I was describing the other day. Whoop. I don't know, I'm kinda tempted to check out the cave. Well, I think I may need to go back and like heal myself or something. I did buy that medicinal herb, but I kind of don't want to waste that. Might probably be cheaper for me to stay at the end. Ah! I got a piece of apple stuck in my teeth. Yes, I was eating an apple, as unbelievable as that sounds. It's, it's a pretty sprawling little area here. Hmm, alright. Let's go back and see see what the church does, at least. Oh, this is armor shop! Okay, interesting. Tan hide, $100. Carapace shield, 80 Can't afford anything there. Okay, so that's not a church, that's armor. Alright. Do have an inn over here, though. Uh, $16 to say? Yeah, I'll do it. How do you feel today? Please come again. Oh, thank God. After I woke up, I looked down there and I saw my life meter was still empty. I'm like, what? Because when I put it up on YouTube, I was all like, what? You gotta be pretty accurate with that thing. Hmm. Mm hmm. Just gonna keep wandering around here and grabbing some money where and when I can. I did see a cave over here, so... Mayhaps it's worth a look. I don't know, I feel like maybe I should spend a little more time out here, though. Just getting a feel for the controls. I think I mostly got it, though. Who knows, maybe we'll get experience faster down here. Cause that's pretty slow out there, I don't know, they're dropping like one experience. two dollars at a time or whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of dozed off it. I wasn't really dozing off. I called Zebu and said, yes, are you the one we've been waiting for? Actually, he said you are, not are you. Try to make the windmill work. If, if you can do this, I will teach you some magic. Okay. Um... Should've known that wasn't gonna work. Silky. To make the windmill work, huh? I don't have my ocarina on me at the moment. And this is not a randomizer. 
Apparently there is a randomizer for this game. Someone emailed me about it like a year ago. And I was like, oh my god, I've never even played the original. I don't know what I would do with a randomizer. But the fact that there is a randomizer leads me to think there must be quite a few... Like that there at least must be some sort of depth to customization or whatever. Oops. Or at least that there is progression of items in general and stuff like that. So that's cool. Alright, good beans. Good beans. Good beans, I say. You really do walk fast in this. But at least the screen scrolls before you get all the way to the end of it. Unlike Secret of Mana, where it's like, oh, hello. Oh, oh this must be the windmill. Can I hit it from outside? I guess not. Oh, hi there. Hey, free experience, and you can't hurt me. So I can't shoot through the mountains, apparently, when I hit him the first time, I hit him with my actual sword. Somehow. That's pretty cool. I can't remember that that's there. I'm gonna feel really stupid if it turned out- whoop, oh, hello. Oh, well... It's a good thing I brought a certain little thing with me now, it's the Power. Power. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, here we go, here we go. Alarm flute now using the alarm flute. Oh, and this is where you save, okay. Uh, sure, sure, I'll save. Oh, I cannot save. Interesting. Um. It's just like automatically use it? Oh, there we go. How about that? What was that? Don't do that again. It's you! Please don't tell Zebu. Take this to start the windmill. Zebu says a strange ball is hidden in these caves. He says it can break rock walls. So ball can break rock walls, huh? Well, one thing at a time here. Let's fix the windmill first. Thankfully, there's no baddies here. Alright, so, so you like this thing over here. I need to like put this in here or something. Uh, let's see. You go to select, go down. Windmill key. Now uh, using windmill key. The windmill begins to work. There you go. Ah, oh, nice. And that opens a cave. I'm not sure how that works, but now I'm interested in that cave. Alright, okay. I can dig this. Imagine what speedruns of this must look like. I wonder. <laughs> oh. Man, oh man. It's gotta have that yawn, don't we? Yeah, I had to get up at 8 o'clock this morning because they brought my washer and dryer today and they finally did it. They brought them and it's here. Both the washer's here and the dryer's here. There's one small part I need for the dryer, so I don't think I'll get it out of the store, but, uh, that shouldn't be too big a deal. Came in, just did the thing, put them in, and they were out in, like, 15 minutes. Just signed the sheet, and away we went. Oh, man, I'm getting attention to really weird. Here we go. Slowly building up that money. You're almost up to about to gain a level, I think, here. Let's see if we can kill some more of these were tigers here. <laughs> I'm just calling them were tigers. I'm not sure why. It's like the first word that came to mind. Just one of them things. Probably playing too much Dragon Quest again. That's what it is. Oh yeah, you only know, hardly have to wait. Nice. Levels increase. 
that increases your life bar too. Sweet. Alright, awesome. So I wonder if I should head up to uh well, shouldn't I go talk to that guy first? Well, I'm gonna watch the trees here. Just see where you're at. See if that guy's still here. Is that something over there? I'm not sure. Oh Zebu! I fixed your windmill! I didn't mean to skip the text there. I'm used to like pressing A to talk to them and then A skipped out on it. Use your power to open the way. Um, let's see. Magic, refresh. Save this game? Yes, I would like to do that very much. Oh, there was the spell. I bet that was it, wasn't it? Just a refresh. It must be a healing spell, apparently, because now I have full life. So, well, that's good. I can see I got MP down in the corner. Actually, that's going to be quite handy. Oh, wow, I can kill those in one hit now. Sweet. Nice. It's just that very basic feeling of joy that you get from being able to one-shot enemies that used to take two hits, you know? There is inherent value in that that cannot be <laughs> understated. Let me see how much XP we get for this. Okay, these guys get two experience. Also, I'm going to remember how much money they drop. They drop two money, okay. I say two money, I don't know, two gold, two coins, whatever it is. Maybe just two dollars, I don't know. I see the dollar sign there. Kinda reminds me of, like, Super Mario Bros. 3, how there was a dollar symbol next to the coins. Like, what? Say it. For a second there, I wasn't doing my thing, and I was like, did I run out of it or something? Oh my gosh. You know what else this reminds me of a little bit? Star Tropics. I did actually play that game growing up very well. It was later on in life. Maybe this is the rock wall that I need the ball to break. It's gonna find me some balls, y'all! Where am I gonna get some balls at? Maybe it's a ball store. Dang, that was a little tougher. Let's see how much XP we get from those. Two. Three XP. And four dollars. Okay, that's that's a lot. Can we ever see how much the red slimes? Because two XP. Two dollars, okay. So far so good. This is getting a little labyrinth in here. Starting to not know which way I'm going. Ooh. Let's see. Oh! He threw back at me there. Okay, that was a big money drop there. I didn't really see. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, I don't like these, whatever they are. Shoot! Okay. Ooh, is it just me, or does it take longer to charge up your thing now that... Interesting. Okay. Shoot! Oh, man. Okay. We're gonna have to be super careful here. Whoa! Shoot, no, you can't just tank stuff in this. You got, like, very little invincibility here. Yeah, those are gonna... Oh! I was watching the bats, and I didn't even see what was right in front of me there. 
Dang, wow. That's the end day. Uh, I guess it's a good thing I saved. Uh, how far back was that, though? I was all the way back here. So it may not be the worst idea to go ahead and get to level 3 before we do that. Oh, that's gonna take a long time, though. My experience is set back to zero. I was really close, too. Okay, well, this cave is still open, as long as I don't go too far into it. I might just stick to killing the stuff early in the cave, maybe. This feels pretty nice, though. I like it. I like it a lot. It's fun. It's just like them old school games, man, I gotta tell ya. Just wanna sit back on the couch and just have some chips and coke with your friends and say, let's beat this game together. Or in our case, it's more like me sitting in a chair about 600 miles away, talking to you one way, and saying, I'm gonna beat this game for y'all or something. <laughs> Even though I have no idea what I'm really doing. Tense cave atmosphere. Tense monsters running around. And the warp boots, ooh. What they probably want you to do is, like, use those some more back to town. Once you have the hundred dollars, then go get the armor, you know. Sounds about right, anyway. Because now I have a hundred dollars, so... So I could go get some armor. Probably wouldn't hurt to have that. That and gain a level at the same time. I mean, yeah, I'd be rolling in power at that point. I do appreciate that stuff respawns, you know, so you don't have to, like, go all the way out of the cave. Or whatever, you're just gonna go back and forth and just grind to your heart's content. I do love grinding in video games. <laughs> Probably one of the few people left in the world who does. I just can't help but appreciate the feel of my avatar getting more powerful, you know. I know that's a big point of contention with Paper Mario these days, you know? It's like people say it is just numbers, and it kind of is, but at the same time, you know? It's like that sense of, like, progression, you know? And not even just progression, but, like, permanence, you know, to it. A permanence to what you do, you know? And now that I'm level 3, let me see, let me get some snakes taken. Oh, this still take 3. Wasn't really even paying attention that much. I want to grind up more than a hundred though, because I want to like get some other stuff too. I just want to go get the armor and then come all the way back here. Even though it's really not that far of a walk, I mean it's like what like, two miles. I can do that on foot easy. In real life. In fact, I probably should. Let's go down to the park a little later. This is feel really weird right now because I'm not usually up this early. So, I figure as long as I'm up though, might as well record. It's just weird to look outside and see the sun on the other side of the sky and be like, what the hell? Trying to like stay off center when I hit him there isn't that way. You wouldn't be able to throw the things at me. Oops. Yeah, you can't hit those, so thankfully. Did I get my MP refill there earlier just now? Okay, there's another breakable rock there. At least I assume it's breakable, it might not be. I don't really know. Another ball of wind. Oh! I think that's the ball they were talking about. Oh, shoot. I was just saying how much I appreciated this stuff respawned. Alright, so I assume the ball is just magic. Oh, maybe not. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oops. At least I hit you. Oh, I see. It's two levels of power. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so charge isn't faster when you're standing still. That's what it is, I just now figured that out. Also, damage dealt to monsters seems to stay on them. Until after you've walked away from them? Jeez, those are so hard to hit. I think I've cleaned this place out, though, mostly. Except for, like, there might be something up here. Okay, cool. Wait, not right there. I've seen another wall, though, that looks like that, and it might be earlier in the cave. I'll check it on the way out. Here, hang on a second. I need to really scratch my mustache. Ooh. Any experience I can get, I'm gonna take. I'll tell you that right now. I ain't gonna die and have that taken away from me again. No siree. I will not be willowed. There it is. It's right here. Yes. Okay. Take your time, take your time. Okay, so there's an exit over here and one over over here. Oh, there's two exits. Oh man, there might be more. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go up. Oh boy. What's it like up here? What are we gonna see up here? So it's gonna one shot me. I just can feel it. Oh boy, we have a boss. on those bats! Oh no, I should have went the other way, I guess. Oh man, am I gonna lose my money too? What if I lose my money? Oh, well, let's find out at least if I did. Because if I did, then okay, I'll just... Oh, okay. Wait a minute, I leveled back down. Oh, it's because I didn't save. Well, okay, that makes sense then. Holy crap, wow. Interesting. Well, good news is we'll have something to do off screen a little bit. A chance for me to get a little more used to the controls and stuff here. I mean, it's very little to actually get used to, it's pretty self explanatory. I definitely think I need to get my hands on that armor though. Or at least a shield or something. God, the way those bats move was just ridiculous. Should've used my MP when I had the chance to, but I don't know. I guess I just honestly thought I wasn't gonna die that fast. Well, so first impressions, I will say. This is fun. This feels good, man. Well, next time on Crystallis. Crystallis? Oh, man. Feel free to set my ass straight as to what the pronunciation is of the title of this game. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna be hanging out. So, see you guys next time. Take care.